everyone and welcome to the new project. I've mentioned that I plan to do this before and I've been sort of putting it off and putting it off. And if you watch Roguelike or listen to Roguelike Radio you probably knew this was coming eventually because I did actually like ask Kawa if she was okay with me doing this because she's doing a Let's play this game, and she's better at it than me. But she only plays friggin' enchant enchanters, so I'm going to avoid playing those at all, <laughs> basically. I actually like Naga, and hmm, I like Naga assassins. So let's play Naga assassin, shall we? My yes, okay. Diagonal keys work fine. Good. Uh, I should have a blowgun. Actually, I don't need to blowgun a bat. I have, um, abilities. I can spit poison. Yeah, this game is quite a bit more complicated than Enlarn was. Can I X to exchange? No. And I haven't played this in quite a while, actually, so gonna have to bear with me while I relearn the controls. Like I said, I'm not very good at this game at all. What? I guess X is to look. Okay, pair of gloves. I think Naga can wear gloves. Yes, we can. So, yeah, I've been putting this off for a little while because, well, first of all, because I needed to get Kawa's sort of reaction to it because I didn't want to seem like we were competing or something. There's plenty of room in the roguelike Let's Player arena for both of us. Spit Poison, by the way, is a really powerful ability early on. So I'm going to be abusing that. Uh, spear and a corpse. I think it's what? B? No. C? Uh, list of commands. Sorry. Sorry. I know. I should have done this before I started. But I just got back from a doctor's appointment, so I don't know. I just threw off my whole plan. <laughs> uh, Z for spells. That's good to know. Not that our assassin will have many spells, but okay. C to chop up a corpse. I thought I hit C, but okay. And yeah, I'm a vegetarian in real life, but. In this game, we will be eating pretty much whatever we kill. And I will probably be dying quite a bit. Uh, I can't do that yet. Speaking of dying, I might die here, actually. Okay, he's heavily wounded. Hmm. Well, let's try a potion. Agility. That's actually not terrible right now, I guess. It would be nice if I could actually hit anything ever, but... You know... Take what I can get, I guess. Uh, no, I don't want to. Isn't there a button to quickly change weapons? I should have checked that when I was in the in the in the uh so I am getting kind of tongue tied now level two now though 
Okay, I should be able to take out this last jackal, I think. Yeah, okay. I do actually like the heads-up display for this game. I have floor and apparently some stuff here. Pick up the darts, leave the club. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to set my skills, because I'm stupid. Okay, we're going to manual mode. And... Yeah, this, this right here is why I like Nagas. Plus five aptitude to stealth. Stealth isn't really that great in this game, but I still rather like it. I don't know why. It's just how I like to play this game for some reason. Well, take out short blades. Put extra points into dodging. And yeah, I'll do that. I know it's usually best to train one skill at a time, but well, whatever, <laughs> basically. I forget to set my skills all the time, so a lot of times I'll... No, I don't want the club. No, I don't want a corpse. I will butcher that corpse though. So because I forget to set my skills a lot, I like to set up like that, so all the skills that I have sort of... Oh, I have the darts equipped. Good. Ah. Sorry about that. Oh, if I sound a lot louder than I normally do, there's a reason for that. I'm experimenting with my audio, actually, because I noticed I've been a little bit quiet in pretty much every video thus far. Yeah, if you notice that, um, Naga are really slow, so I can't really run away from anything effectively. Is it capital Z to rest? No. Capital R? No. Oh, I do need to put on that ring though. L... put on. Okay, it's five. Okay. Uh, I should have practiced before, but eh. You guys should know better than to expect me to be competent. Yeah, this game has more auto pickup than Enline did. I keep forgetting about it though. Ooh, where are you? Cloak? Robe? What do I have on? A different robe, so I'll take that for now. I think the auto explorer is O. Yeah. A kobold is in view, but I don't see it. Where are you, kobold? There you are. That was a pretty easy kobold. Okay. Uh, spit poison at you. And get some goblin chunks. Yeah, I know that sounds disgusting, but it does help avoid starving, which is something I try to avoid in these LPs because it's not the most entertaining death. Uh, so that. Don't really care about that. Some potions. One nice thing about um, crawl, yes, we're playing crawl, there we go, is that the potions and stuff are weighted so that healing potions are more common than, like, actual poisonous ones. So you can kind of infer from how often you come across a potion how good it is, which is nice. Uh, I'm gonna... No, I need the stealth, or the dodging. I was gonna say I was gonna prioritize stealth for a bit, but. And yes, I'll eat some uh, rat chunks. Ew. Okay, looks like we're done exploring. <coughs> so I think for this episode, I'm probably just gonna play until this character dies. <coughs> Because 
if you've watched most of my videos or many of my videos, you know that I tend to be really bad at the games, especially early on. Uh, wait, no, don't abort. I don't know what it is. It's probably identify. No, it must have been remove curse. Um, no idea what that was. Enchant weapon. One of these, ha okay, heal rooms. I was gonna say one of those has to be identify. Hmm, I'll identify that ring too. Sustainabilities, okay. And T, curse jewelry, fuck. Oh well, that might actually not be too bad because there is a uh, deity of some sort I haven't found yet, but Cursed Dagger, okay. But there's a deity in this game that you can get on your side who likes when you wander around with cursed items equipped. So, might not be too terrible. Put on J. No, put J. Plus four ring of intelligence. If I had any magic, that would be nice. Yeah, this game is balanced a bit better than Enlarn was, so probably less magic missile spam. Uh, what do you do? Remove curse. Cool. Keep hitting comma to pick stuff up because I've been playing Enlarn. And I forget that most things in this game are auto pickup. I like this floor layout. Like these translucent rock walls are really pretty. And yeah, I know I talk about this game like it has really good graphics. I do that for pretty much anything with ASCII too. Bread rations. I find it interesting that Nagas aren't carnivorous. Because at least the like mythological Nagas are based on cobras which usually eat other snakes. Well, I think they're based on king cobras, which usually eat other snakes. Different kinds of cobras eat different kinds of thing, but most of them are... Actually, I think all of them are carnivorous. Uh, and yeah, I... I like snakes. <laughs> Hence the thing for nagas. I also like being sneaky like that. But stealth? I don't know, stealth is pretty tricky in this game because the deeper you go into the dungeon, the less effective your stealth is. Ooh, Sigmund. So he's a unique enemy with a proper name and everything, and I'm probably going to die to him. But let's find out, shall we? Ooh. Scythe. And I'm confused. Er... Potion? Not gonna help, is it? Can I... Quiver these curare... Needles and equip the blowgun... And... Hit Sigmund? Looks more healthy? What? Er... Hmm. Let's just continue to... Now he's invisible, but I can still see him. I'm not sure how that works exactly, but I'm not going to complain about it. Now you see why you don't, and he's smart. Okay. Can I... 
can't close the door? No, I guess not. Shit. Um, hmm. Cure our needle, go. Er. Yeah, I'm pretty much fucked here, I think. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, too close. Too cunting close. Okay. Well, I'll take a scythe, his robe, my poison needles that missed apparently, and let's take a nap. Yeah, I'll eat a bread fashion. <laughs> Whew, I was not expecting that to work out so well. Hmm. It's a pole arm with really bad accuracy. I think I'll wield my dagger. And my stealth leveled up. How did I know that dagger was cursed? The orcish one. Not sure. It's just a plus O plus O scythe. Oh well. Scythes are pretty neat. I don't think I'll use one on this character, but still, they're pretty cool. I'll butcher that bat. I don't think I have any way into there. Yeah, I don't. Hmm. I would like to find one, but I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Hmm. So, I'm kind of surprised I managed to kill Sigmund, to be honest. I was not expecting that to go as well as it did. Yeah, auto explore button, go. Sleepy Cobalt. No, not sleepy, just not paying attention. I'll take those uh, darts, leave the robe, and whatever else he dropped. Uh, one of my chunks is melting, or not melting, rotting. Sorry, I'm just really tongue-tied today, apparently. Hopefully my audio is a bit better than it has been. I like that little, like, display that pops up over in this area to tell you how injured the enemy is. That was a really pointless door. The floors here are huge, by the way. Like, properly huge. I think they get bigger the deeper you go. I feel like they do. So, it's a good thing to have... Um... Big fish? What? I don't want to attack the big fish. I just want to go to the altar. Altar to... I uh, coil in front of the altar. Okay. Elevillian the healer. Elevillon. Elevillon. Elevillon? Elevillon. Yeah, I think I like Elevillon better. Elevillon the healer welcomes all good souls who are preparing to help others. Prepared to help others. Those individuals can expect to gain powerful healing abilities. The healer prefers a creed of pacifism and helps war worshippers avoid bloodshed. Olivian appreciates the destruction of weapons, though more pious worshippers must find and destroy unholy or evil weapons to gain piety in this way. Olivian, Olivian, no, I can't say it again. Olivians, Olivians, Olivians. Okay, I'm gonna say that name different every time. I'm sorry. <laughs> Followers can convert to the Shining One or Zin while keeping some of their piety. She's neutral towards me. Um, I don't think so. Like, I'm an assassin, so I don't think that whole 
pacifist thing is going to work out so well. She's actually pretty me, and I don't think I've had an assassin with her before, but here distance slurping. Ew. Why am I hearing slurping? Yeah, I don't think I've had an assassin with her before, but uh, at the same time, I'm not sure I want one. She doesn't seem like a particularly good deity to have for an assassin. Uh, I should be able to wear that. Let's see what skills. Um, game. Okay. Yeah, it takes a while to change armor like that because you have to take off your cloak and the armor you're wearing and then put on the new stuff. It's kind of annoying. So I'm almost up to another level of stealth. Dodging is almost up. Uh, I, don't know, I think I'm gonna turn off stabbing actually. Mm, I have no armor skill. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Hopefully this episode doesn't go on for too long. Um, I want to at least do one character this episode. Later episodes I probably won't do the one character per episode thing like I end up doing with Brogue. Because this game takes quite a bit more time than Brogue does. Wrong button. Come back here. Hunting bat. Just wanna. Okay. Uh. Darts. Quiver. There. Fucking bats. A rat skeleton. So, yeah, I'm done exploring this floor, apparently. Uh. Let the staircase up. I want to go down. It's another staircase up, I think. Actually, I want to get in there before I go down, but I don't think I have anything that might do that. Mm. Hmm. I can't use that on a cursed item. It must be an identify specific thing. Scroll, I guess. Okay, there's this stairway down. That was a fast travel option to find stairs, but I can't remember what it is at the moment. I don't feel like going back into the oh so professional control screen in the middle of an episode. What's this? It's the statue. Hmm. My brogue senses are tingling. I don't think I want to be near statues if I can help it. You know, know what I mean? Um, statues and brogue can occasionally burst into trolls. <laughs> By which I mean the statue breaks and turns into a troll. Uh, ooh, poison needle trap. I'll take that. I mean, I understand it just tried to murder me, but I'll take it. Remove curse will be nice, I think. Fountains. Yeah, fountains and a cloak. A cute little adder. Uh, dodging leveled, and I re I leveled. So what's my dodging at? Just two. Yeah. Hmm. I know, I really should keep leveling it, but I kind of want to increase something else. I kind of want to work on stealth, because, like I said, stealth, if you're not really on top of leveling it, it becomes pretty much useless very quickly. Burning Altar of Macleb. Okay, well, let me... 
get a couple things and potion of poison. I'll take that. Oh, P to pray. Well, in front of the altar. Macleb the Destroyer is a fearsome deity of bloodshed and mortification of the flesh. Followers are expected to cleanse others by inflicting suffering and death on them in Macleb's name. You can gain further favor by ravaging the freshly dead. Dedicated followers may also access the raw energies and hellspawn servants of chaos, so that they may better break the impure world and its false laws for this evil god's glory. Sign me up. Capital Y. Hello, McLeod. Thank you for welcoming me. So can I pray over corpses now and... Yes, okay, I can... If I pray on a corpse now, it will be taken as an offering to our new friend, McLeod. A buckler I should equip. Capital A. Where? And didn't I get a identify W? Read. Uh, try it on the cloak, I guess. And it's a plus oak cloak. That's no good. Well, it's not that terrible, but it's no help for me since I already have one. Do I have any? No, I'm gonna stay hungry until I kill something then. I'm gonna hold on to a little bit of my permanent food. 11 poison needles? Okay. Uh, where are they? E. Quiver. Blowgun. Uh, Build. Okay. I should be able to just spit on a bat, really. Okay, and pray. Cares only about fresh corpses. Okay, so I can only commit ones that I haven't butchered. There's something wrong with this meat. Yes, there is. I took it off of a goblin that I found in a dungeon. There is almost certainly something wrong with that. Uh, I guess I'll take off. Huh, I don't know what it is. We'll find out eventually. Uh, cool. Why am I wielding Karari needles? I don't want to wield Karari needles. I want to use the regular poison. There. Corpse flares red and disappears. And that leather armor is probably better than what we have on, I would assume. Uh, three minus one, or, oh, we have chainmail on, so never mind. I'm gonna drop that then. Actually, I'm gonna drop a couple things. I don't need a cloak. I don't need robes. Keep all the food. Keep the scrolls. I guess I can drop the poison. Yeah, that works. I'm still nauseous, which is annoying. I don't know how long that will last, actually. How do I... I wonder what that is. Uh, Naga barding. I can't see that place, but I know it's there. What? Yeah, whatever game. Uh, teleport trap. Whatever. 
and more super speed. More super speed. No. Yeah, I'm just super speeding around now because it seems like we mostly cleared out this floor. It's just a matter of, yeah, filling out the map and collecting a few loose bits that I passed up or didn't notice. Uh, yes, really slow them to that teleport trap. This character is going better than I expected it to, considering it's my first one of the project. Where the fuck are the stairs down? Uh, there's a pair. Or, set. I have no idea how long this episode's been going on, by the way. So it's probably gonna take me like five hours to render. In retrospect, that was a bad idea, considering it's a poisonous snake and I just spat poison at it. You know, also is a bad idea that I'm trying to fucking. melee with a blow dart, or a blow gun. Okay. Apparently he's taking all my kills, so I'll take a nap. School of teleportation is not a bad thing to have. Uh, a clusterfuck of orcs is a bad thing to have, however, and is a thing we currently have, which is bad. Okay, choke point. Go, choke point. And died. Yeah. Okay. Well. That was the first episode. See you next time, guys. Bye.